What's the real story behind Flamin' Hot Cheetos, the spicy snack food that's taking over America? How did they come to be, and why are they so popular? The true story behind Flamin' Hot Cheetos might surprise you. Flamin' Hot Cheetos were the brainchild of Richard Montañez. And unlike most snack food creators, he was no lab coat wearing food scientist. He was a janitor at Frito-Lay plant, but was also interested in how the business was run, especially after a company-wide message from the CEO encouraging each employee to act like an owner of the company to feel personally invested in its success. That inspired Montañez to think outside the box. One day, the machine that made Cheetos accidentally spit out a batch that was totally unseasoned. Montañez took them home and did some experimentation. He had noticed that Cheetos didn't have any spicy flavors, so he seasoned the plain corn puffs he had gotten with spices and chili powder. He then boldly called the CEO of the company, who was so impressed by Montañez's initiative that he set up a meeting for him to present his invention. The CEO was sold, and within six months, Flamin' Hot Cheetos were being tested. In 1992, they were released nationally. The snack became legendary, and these days, Montañez is the VP of Multicultural Sales for PepsiCo, the parent company of Frito-Lay. Not only was Montañez a janitor, but he was also a high school dropout. Growing up, he found it difficult to understand his teachers at school, English wasn't his first language, and he didn't have an easy time learning it. As a result, he decided to drop out of high school and soon after entered the workforce. Aspirations weren't very high in his small community outside of Ontario, California. Most of his peers only hoped to grow up and work in the town's factory, which is exactly where he ended up. Montañez had different dreams for himself, though. He wanted to drive a garbage truck. That wasn't meant to be, of course, but the janitor job he ended up with took him farther than any trash truck could have. Today, Montañez helps provide college scholarships for young Latinos. He explained to Fox News Latino, Latinos who have made it like myself have a responsibility to open doors to younger generations and teach them that they can do it. Richard Montañez knew he had a great idea in his hands when he realized that in the snack aisle of his local convenience store, there weren't any products marketed to the Latino people who frequented it. Montañez, the son of Mexican immigrants, suddenly found inspiration. When Montañez was enjoying some elotes, he decided the combination of cheese and chili powder would also taste great on Cheetos. Montañez said that at the time, nobody had given any thought to the Latino market, but everywhere I looked, I saw it ready to explode. The product went on to be a huge success. Montañez moved his way up the ranks at PepsiCo. Not only has he worked with PepsiCo brands, including KFC and Taco Bell, to help them market to consumers in the Latin community, but he also does community outreach and works to help students of Latin America heritage go to college. Some of you sometimes are waiting for somebody to say, I give you permission to be great. If you're waiting for that day, well, guess what? I'm giving you permission to be great. The story of how Richard Montañez invented Flamin' Hot Cheetos is pretty cinematic. A janitor who couldn't read, inventing a multi-million dollar product, and going on to become a vice president at PepsiCo? Think of the drama, the formulation of the idea, the bold call to the CEO, the nerve-wracking first presentation and joy of his success. It's a story that has everything, and Hollywood seems to agree because there's going to be a Flamin' Hot Cheetos movie. The film will trace the story of Montañez's life from family farmhand and elementary school burrito salesman to janitor, inventor, and businessman. The movie Flamin' Hot is set to be directed by Eva Longoria, who may be best known for her role as Gabrielle on Desperate Housewives, but has also directed several short films and episodes of TV shows, including Jane the Virgin. Longoria expressed her excitement about the project on Twitter, where she said, It's my privilege to bring the story of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, which we all love, to life. If you've ever felt the urge to keep eating hot Cheetos until they're gone, it's not just you. The chemical makeup of Cheetos really does trick the brain into wanting more. Some of it has to do with their texture. Apparently, the puffy, melt-in-your-mouth texture of Cheetos tricks the brain into thinking that the food is low-calorie, a phenomenon called vanishing caloric density. That means your brain doesn't stop you from eating it because it doesn't seem like substantial food. Another hypothesis is that Flamin' Hot Cheetos are what's called hyperpalatable, thanks to their combination of sugar, salt, and fat. Eating those foods can cause the body to release natural opiates, opioids generated by your body or endorphins, and the capsaicin in the chili powder used to season Flamin' Hot Cheetos can apparently maximize the opiate release when you eat them. A handful of school districts in three states, California, Illinois, and New Mexico, have banned Flamin' Hot Cheetos, both because they aren't nutritious and because they, quote, 
may create a brain response similar to what is seen in individuals who are addicted to illicit substances. Kids have reported gastrointestinal distress, and some have gone to the ER after eating the fiery red snack food and seeing what they thought was blood in their stool, only to discover that the red dye in the Cheetos caused the discoloration. So these kids are eating them and, and they're having a lot of pain. It's because the amount of acid is more than the stomach and also the esophagus can handle. Though the red dye itself isn't harmful, some doctors worry that it's a sign children are overeating the hyperpalatable snack. A doctor at St. Louis Children's Hospital explained, Our stool doesn't usually become discolored unless you eat huge amounts of red dye. But Flamin' Hot Cheetos is one food that people will eat enormous amounts of and will see a change in their stool. Frito-Lay doesn't sell products directly to schools, and it doesn't actively market snacks to kids ages 12 and under. But that hasn't stopped kids from getting their hands on Flamin' Hot Cheetos so for some schools, the ban felt necessary. Kids may not know about the nutritional value, or lack thereof, of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, but even adults can't seem to stop themselves from binging on the crunchy, spicy, salty snack. Just look at rapper Lil Xan. He ended up in the hospital in September of 2018 because according to a since-deleted Instagram post, I guess I ate uh, too many hot Cheetos and uh, it ripped. <laughs> it ripped. Something in my stomach go bit. Lil Xan added that he apparently vomited some blood and that hot Cheetos are, quote, a hell of a drug. There was some speculation as to whether or not eating flaming hot Cheetos could actually send someone to the hospital, and conspiracy theorizing that the whole thing was one big marketing campaign. While it's rare that eating flaming hot Cheetos could on its own cause a tear in the stomach, some doctors confirmed that if someone already has digestive issues, eating spicy foods of any kind can make them worse. If Lil Xan had an ulcer or some other previously existing stomach condition, then yes, eating a ton of flaming Hot Cheetos or other spicy food could do some damage. But healthy people who are eating their favorite spicy snack food in moderation shouldn't have to worry about it. In 2017, Cheetos opened The Spotted Cheetah in New York City, a pop-up restaurant helmed by the celeb chef Ann Burrell. The food wasn't your usual poor gas station nacho cheese into a bag of hot Cheetos concoctions, but rather an upscale look at how they can be incorporated into more sophisticated takes on comfort food dishes. In 2018, a second Flamin' Hot Cheetos pop-up, The Flamin' Hot Spot, set up shop in Hollywood. It was even more flashy, with bad boy restaurateur Roy Choi in charge of the menu. It featured dishes like a flaming Hot Cheetos crusted chicken wings, Cheetos crunchy extra flaming Hot Sweet and Spicy Chili Meatballs, flaming Hot Cheetos Elotes in a nice nod to the legendary origins of the snack, and even a flaming Hot Cheetos infused chocolate shake. Flamin' Hot Cheetos have made appearances in more casual restaurants, too. There are entire guides showing hungry diners where they can get some Flamin' Hot Cheetos in their meal in Los Angeles. And for a while, Taco Bell was serving up Flamin' Hot Cheetos Crunch Wrap Sliders, proof that it's a more versatile ingredient than one might think. A collaboration between the Cheetos brand and fashion company Forever 21 turned up the sartorial heat when it debuted in June of 2019. Cheetos and Forever 21 is a 21-item apparel collection featuring all sorts of accessories for those who are willing to suffer through the spicy bliss of flaming Hot Cheetos. Though some of the items are inspired by the Plain Jane Cheetos, other items sport red flames in honor of the spicier snack. There were joggers with a flaming Hot design down the side, flaming Hot Cheetos crew socks, a flaming Hot bodysuit, a flaming Hot Cheetos tube dress, and a selection of trendy leopard print, or should we say, cheetah print, clothes. Unfortunately, not even a spicy line of flaming Hot clothing could save Forever 21. In the fall of 2019, Forever 21 announced it was closing 7,000 stores and wound up filing for bankruptcy protection. A few pieces from the Flamin' Hot Cheetos line were still being sold in stores and online as of early 2020, though not everything was still available on the Forever 21 website. But at least you know there's always eBay. Hopefully a second-hand pair of Cheeto socks doesn't end up costing as much as the Cheeto purportedly shaped like the highly memed Gorilla Harambe, which almost sold for nearly $100,000 before the seller backed out. In another viral campaign, Flamin' Hot Cheetos decided to hit the runway at New York Fashion Week in 2019 with a debut collection from the House of Flamin' Hot. The collection was curated by fashion influencers Luana, Hungry Hipsters, Alexa Jade, and Jay Bolin, and costume designer Amy Goodhart closed out the show. Everything at the show, from the model's hair and makeup to their accessories and clothes, was inspired by the Flamin' Hot snack. The clothing on the runway featured lots of bold reds and oranges, and no one shied away from the Flamin' Hot Cheetos logos, 
Some models even had cheetah print dyed hair in honor of Chester Cheetah, himself a fashion icon. The night wasn't just about watching the fashion show, though. For guests, there were small bites and cocktails infused with flaming Hot Cheetos, and there was even a flaming Hot Cheetos-style bar where fans could get their makeup and nails done in the flaming Hot style. Red eyeliner, powdery orange nails, and cheetah print hair were the looks of the night. The man behind Flamin' Hot Cheetos didn't stop at just changing the world of snacks. Now he's made it his mission to change the world. Richard Montañez travels the country as a public speaker, addressing the importance of multiculturalism and diversity in industry. It's no surprise that many conferences and companies seek to have Montañez as a speaker. Not only can he speak to the importance of valuing all employees, regardless of race or origin, but also to the importance of hard work, persistence, and just plain putting yourself out there. Montañez didn't limit his goals based on his background, and he's made it his job to make sure that today's youth don't either. I've got something to say, and I want to say it to the young people. His work also garnered him several awards and recognitions, including being named as one of the most influential Hispanics in corporate America by Hispanic Lifestyle magazine. Montañez has also been invited to the White House on several occasions and has presented at a special United Nations event. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite snacks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.